Welcome back, strategizers. Jessica Chobot here, along with the brains at IGN, to give you an in-depth look at the fifth and final installment to Fallout 3. By now, you've journeyed through all the treacherous wastelands Earth has to offer. That means there's only one more frontier left to tackle, the final frontier, space. As a prisoner on Mothership Zeta, you'll have to fend for your life aboard a spaceship filled with ornery aliens. Much like Operation Anchorage, the gameplay is pretty straightforward, so there isn't a whole lot of exploration to be expected. There are, however, quite a few things to pay attention to while you gallivant around the stars. There are a bunch of new weapons available, each one more powerful than the next, and all 100% Capital Wasteland approved, so make sure you tuck them safe and sound into your inventory before heading back to the surface. The first two new weapons you'll come across in the game are the Shock Baton and the Alien Atomizer. Neither weapon does a ton of damage, but both look cool while you're wielding them. The Alien Disintegrator and the Destabilizer, on the other hand, are a whole other story. The Disintegrator has many of the same characteristics as the Alien Blaster found at the Alien Crash Site in the Capital Wastelands. It does a damage of around 70 depending on the condition, and can be found just about everywhere. The Disintegrator's bigger, badder brother deals out well over 130 damage and is a wrecking ball at long-range shots, or incredibly fun if you want to prove a point close up. The Drone Cannon is in a whole other category of its own. In good condition, this bad boy has a damage rating of 145. That's the upside. The downside is that it's difficult to hit a moving target or a ceiling-mounted gun turret with it. Also, be mindful of your surroundings when you pull the trigger. Firing off this monster in close quarters could take some of you with it. Weapons aren't the only thing to pay special attention to as you progress through the game. Make sure to collect as much alien biogel as you can get your hands on. You'll meet Elliot Takorian at the beginning of the second mission. Once freed from his cryogenic stasis, Elliot will gladly turn your entire stock of alien biogel into adapted biogel. Adapted biogel gives you a whopping 154 HP, more than 60 points higher than a normal stim pack. Other items to keep an eye out for are the alien crystals. Both large and small crystals can be collected and sold back in the wastelands for a pretty penny. You'll also come across alien epoxy which can be used to increase the condition of any weapon. This includes the alien blaster, ammo for which can also be found if you hunt around for a bit. So if you're anything like us and you decide to break your blaster and waste all of your ammo hunting down and killing every last super mutant in the capital wastelands, you can rectify that mistake here and now on the mothership. Handle your space business right, and you could come back from the stars a very rich, very powerful, very healthy human. Now all you have to do is get all of that alien blood out of your genes. For more tips, tricks, and cheats, log on to IGN.com.